everyone. I hope you're having a great day so far and a great summer that you've been able to get outside and enjoy some of the beautiful weather we've been having off and on. Um, I have a story that I want to share with you today. It's called, When God Made You. And it's by Matthew Paul Turner, illustrated by David Cottrell. And it has really beautiful, colorful pictures in it. I hope you enjoy it. You, you, you. When God made you, God made you all shiny and new. An incredible you, a you all your own. A you unlike anyone else ever known. It's true, there's nobody in the world like you. An exclusive design, one God refined. You are perfectly crafted, one of a kind. Because when God made you, somehow God knew that the world needed someone exactly like you. You, you, God thinks about you. God was thinking of you long before your debut. From the very beginning amid history and time, you, little one, never left God's mind. God imagined your eyes, your head's shape, size, and knew what you'd look like when you felt surprised. Can everybody make a surprised face? <gasps> God knew that about us, what we would look like when we were surprised. Isn't that cool? God pictured your nose and all 10 of your toes. The sound of your voice, God had it composed. The lines on your hands, your hair, every strand, God knew every detail like it was all planned. Out of billions of faces from cultures, all races, people God made from all different places, God knew your name. Your picture is framed. God's family without you would not be the same. Look at it. <laughs> She's out there running around. Little brother or sister is watching, huh? Because when God made you, this much is true. The world got to meet who God already knew. You, you, when God sees you, God delights in what is and sees only what's true. That you, yes you, in all of your glory, Bring color and rhythm and rhyme to God's story. Oh, it looks like he's sad that the flower is dying. Its petals are falling. Oh, man. So be you, fully you, a show-stopping review. Live your life in full color, every tint, every hue. Discover, explore, have, fa have faith, but love more and learn and relearn all that God made you for. Use your talents and passions, those gifts that God fashioned. Think up ideas and then put them to action. Hmm, she has an idea. And it looks like she's gonna start to use her imagination that God gave her. Let's see what she's gonna make. Cause God loves you creating, your true self displaying, when light on the inside through art is portraying. When you make believe, the story's conceived, the heroics, the magic, those tricks up your sleeve. Look at that, oh. What does it look like she's making? Can you tell? With chalk, that's so cool. When you dance alone, spinning like a cyclone, being whoever, whatever, in a world all your own. God smiles, and here's why. In the spark of your eye, a familiar reflection shines bright from inside. Because when God made you and the world ood and odd, in heaven they called you an image of God. You, you, when God dreams about you, God dreams about all that in you will be true. She is really making some beautiful art, isn't she? Look at that, flowers and this cool looking bird. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. 
that you, God's you, will be hopeful and kind, a giver who lives with all heart, soul, and mind. A dreamer who dreams in big and small themes, one who keeps dreaming in journeys upstream. A mover, a shaker, a lover of nature. A builder of bridges, you, the peacemaker. A you who views others as sisters and brothers and lives by three words, love one another. A confident you, strong and brave too. You being you is God's dream coming. Because when God made you, all of heaven was beaming. Over you, God was smiling and already dreaming. Look at that. And look at, I, I love this part. On the chair that she's sitting in, I don't know if you can see it. But it's all of the things that she was drawing with the chalk. Isn't that so cool? I love that God gave us imaginations and that we're made in the image of him because if you look around God is so creative he's so creative if you just look at a flower and the beautiful colors and all of the little details of it and we have imaginations too so I would like you to go and use your imagination today whether it's drawing a picture or building something really awesome out of Legos um, and then also remembering what it says about loving one another Sometimes that's not always easy, but we can keep working at it each and every day. I hope you all have a great day today. I hope you enjoyed our story, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day!